heads of state for West Africa and the Sahel, head of UNOWA. Take all measures necessary to restore constitutional order in the Republic of Niger. Such measures may include the use of force. Quatre, avertissent que toute intervention militaire contre le Niger s'assimilerait à une déclaration de guerre contre le Burkina Faso et le Mali. First of all, I'm curious what you make of the Vatican not commenting on this now, because in our research we found that in the past they have talked about the possibility of UAPs, said something like, you know, everybody's God's children sort of thing, but, but, but this time they really seem to be backing off on making any kind of statement. What do you make of it? Yeah, Brian, uh, it's good to be on your show. I'm not surprised that the Vatican uh, doesn't want to comment on this. It's This is a can of worms that uh, isn't something they want to talk about. Uh, you, you know, you can kind of understand that, too, that it's when you're talking about religion and and uh, churches and all those kind of things, the idea of discussing extraterrestrial life uh, is, is something they would probably rather not do. There is reporting that the head um, of the Vatican Observatory, which is interesting, we got into the last, this last night, I don't think a lot of people realize that they, they do have these observatories and are interested in studying space. Uh, his name is Jesuit brother Guy Consalmagno, uh, says that Catholic intellectual tradition would have no problem uh, with the idea of intelligent life. He, he said that in the past, again, like, why, why keep it a secret? I mean, do you think that, that, that people really wouldn't be able to sort of mend the two together? Yeah, I think it is a problem that uh, just people's religious beliefs, uh, what they think is, you know, their salvation uh, and how extraterrestrials would fit into that. I mean, the, the Catholic Church has said, you know, that they have no problems with life on other planets, that God uh, is, you know, uh, great and and can create life on all kinds of planets uh, and not just on Earth. So, you know, the Catholics have said, yeah, we have no problem with extraterrestrial life. But for them to come and say that, yeah, we've got information on a crashed UFO and, uh, uh, you know, UFOs, extraterrestrials and things like that, it's just not a statement they're going to make. Uh, the, you know, the American military is not going to make a statement about that either. And they probably know a lot more about uh, UFOs and extraterrestrials than the Vatican does. Are there other religions, I'm curious, David, um, that, that you know of in all the, the research that you've done that are more open to the idea? Yeah, I would say there are. Uh, you know, Hindus uh, and Buddhists, uh, you know, Tibetans and whatnot, the idea of uh, extraterrestrial life and things like that, I think that is, they have no problem with that. And UFOs, uh, particularly in Hindu and Buddhist uh, tradition, they have UFOs. UFOs have been flying around for thousands of years, according to them. They call them Vimanas. They have whole texts about it. Uh, and so that's the other thing, say, with the Vatican, too, is that UFO sightings have been going on for thousands of years. Uh, in, in the Middle Ages, in Italy, too, there were many uh, UFO reports. And even, even painters painted flying saucers into their paintings and things like that. And, uh, you know, the Vatican would probably have some of those paintings uh, in their, you know, vast archives and stuff like that, that that have UFOs in them. So the idea that, you know, UFOs have been around there and that the Vatican, the Catholic Church, the, the Hindus, the Buddhists, uh, Mormons as well, 
believe in extraterrestrial life. And uh, I mean, they are also a religion that, that wouldn't have any problems with that. I think a lot of, you know, modern day religions don't have a problem with life on other planets. And the idea that we're not alone in the universe is, you know, a, a pretty standard idea now. Yeah. But it's still not something I think that major religions and particularly the Catholic Church wants to address. Back to David Grush's claims that the Pope uh, in the 1930s alerted America about a crashed craft that Italy had in their possession. Can you talk to us a little bit about that time frame? I mean, does it surprise you that um, that he? Okay, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great Milson who rule well and who has 100% truth and who I'm learning the truth from. This is for the whole free elect of Israel, which I used to call Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, these speckled birds that scatter across the four corners of the earth that mingle within the other nations, made look like the other heathen nations. If this word resonates with you, then your lineage go back from your father's side to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You are the true Hebrew Israelites in which the Bible speaks of. Okay? Now you heard this short little clip, okay? And uh, uh, a lot of that lies, you know, because there are no such things that crash so-called UFO or UAP, which is actually of the chariots of the Most High, Yahweh Pahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay? And first and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Yah is He, Hawah, He is this, He is. The name of His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shai. Yah is He, Hawah Shai, the deliverer of the Savior, okay? The Rakakradash is the Holy Spirit. Okay. Bahashem means in the name. All praise. Call Halal. These are the ancient language, Paleo Hebrew, the Lashawan Kradash, the Pure Tongue. Okay. Call Halal, Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakradash. Okay. Now, uh, Again, Esau Edom, the so-called white man, he's a liar, okay? He's estranged from the womb as soon as he'd be born. Uh, just roughly paraphrasing that scripture, okay? He's a liar from the beginning, you know? So he's going to lie about these things because the truth be told, and which is being told now by the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, and the... Uh, Prophecy teaches on down, it's on the highways and byways that they're telling you this, okay? And everything is coming out so they can't keep it secret anymore because everyone is seeing these things. They have a, everybody has a phone, whether it be a government phone or whatnot. It has a camera on it. People are taking pictures. They're, they're, they're taking videos all over the world, okay? And they see these things, okay? And the covering cast is coming off of who the wicked is, okay? So let's get started with uh, 2 Thessalonians, okay? First of all, let's, let's get started with that clip you've seen. You, you see uh, Niger and fighting, Russia, Ukraine, China, getting into it, Taiwan, uh, uh, France is rioting, you know, uh, uh, there's that's, that's fighting going on all over the world, okay? And starting with Matthew 24, and the sixth verse, and it reads, and it's all red letter, so that will be our Lord and Savior Yahweh side speaking, and it reads, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, because we got a couple of more major prophecies in which one is interplay right now, but it has to be made mandatory, and that's Revelation 13, 16, the Korogma. Okay, and if you take it, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh, side, it's going to kill you, point blank. You're going to be missile fool. The thermonuclear missile is going to get you. You're going to die on this side, okay? And you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Got Jacob's trouble, okay? You got uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 16, famine of fool, famine of the word coming first, famine of fool. 
Okay, you got uh, also with that with the feminine of fool, you got uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Uh, people eating people for the lack of food. They're gonna be eating their leather belts for the lack of food, for the lack of all things. They're not gonna have. You got inflation. Revelation six and four, the black horse. You know, you got inflation. You know. And they, they're doing this so they can push the NWO, okay? So they can implement order app KO, order out of chaos to push the corruption, okay? I heard somebody, somebody I was talking to a, a, a person today where they were actually was talking to me and they mentioned, have you heard that they're, give, they're getting ready to give out some more stimulus, you know, money, you know? And they were happy, so. They're being fooled. These people are being taken by the craftiness of this devil, the so-called white man, Esau Edom, the rich and elite bacon families. And they're going to wind up taking the Revelation 13, 16, the corrupt one, okay? And they will be destroyed. But nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows, okay? And they shall deliver you up to be afflicted. They shall kill, kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Okay, because we stand boldly for the name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, why Yahweh shot, okay? Even your own family members, your friends, the ones that took the, the, the J-A-B, you know, and you didn't. They angry about that. They angry about you messing up their day, okay, and their lives. Which actually, they messed their own lives up because they didn't come back to repentance because they are in the lots that were set out for them by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And they shall deliver you up to be afflicted, shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations. For my name's sake. And then shall be many offended, and shall betray one another, one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because of niggas shall bow, the love of many shall wax gold. You're seeing that now. You know, the spirit, the heavenly father, Yahweh, by some house, I put the spirit on uh, uh, people to do all kind of wickedness. They have no more love. They're killing, robbing, stealing, raping. They're doing anything they possibly can because a nigga that, that has wax great. And the love is wax cold. That's why you need to read these scriptures, understand them and walk circumspectly because we are in these evil times and it's only going to get worse, okay? It's only going to get worse, okay? Verse 13, but he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in the world for a witness to all nations and then shall the end come. It's being preached to all nations now, okay? It's, uh, 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 that's how you know we're at the end, you know, through the internet. This being preached, these, these video epistles, you got camps in, in, in all, over, all over the world right now, GMS camps. You know, Italy, Germany, Philippines, they're all over the world, the, U, the, the, the UK. So this gospel is being preached all over the world. Then you go to Daniel 12, the 4. You know, knowledge shall increase. Knowledge has increased. Why do you think you're walking around with these, walk, these computers, these pocket computers in your pocket that you use every day, that you take for granted? Okay, that's that knowledge that has increased. Everyone has one. Hell, they're free. Okay. Second Thessalonians 2 and 8. I'm not going to make this long. This is the book of Second Thessalonians 2 and eight, and then so that we could be revealed whom the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Who is the spirit of his mouth? His prophets on the highways and byways, on these videos and epistles, okay? And they shall, and, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. The, bright, the brightness of who's coming, okay? Who's coming? The King of Righteousness, Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. Melchizedek, it's another name. For the king of righteousness, okay? The brightness of his coming. 
to come up with the materials. They're going to be destroyed. Okay. Even him who's coming after the working of Satan and with and Satan with all power and size and lying wonders. Those lying wonders, you know, those powers and size. You know, he's able to drop weapons from the sky. You know, lying wonders is his technology. It's medical technology. You know, he's able to replace eyes. He's able to replace limbs. This, that, and the third. You know it. You see it every single day. Okay? And they're pushing it, you know? They're pushing it. And with that Revelation 13, 16, the Karama, if you put that in you, you allow that to happen to you, if they, you, you, hey, you're done. Because they're going to be tracking you. Every move, they're going to be, they're going to be directed on what you should eat, how you should eat, how much you should eat. Okay? Where you live, you know? If you don't, if you, if you don't take that, guess what? You're going to be outside. Okay? If you take it, you're going to be inside. And what happens to the ones inside? They get destroyed. Because they can't get out. Okay? Once you take it, you're done. You ain't no taking it and taking it out. Once you take it, you're on the inside, you're going to be destroyed. Okay? You're going to be, be destroyed like in a glass house. When it come down, there's no escaping. There's no escape. There's no escaping from the judgment of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shad. Okay. Second Thessalonians 2 and 9. Even him who's coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. He saw Edom, so called rich and elite banking families, okay? Rothschilds, you know, the, the, the rich and elite families that run this, this queendom, okay? And with all this evilness and unrighteousness and them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved, you know? And that's you Jakes out there, you two-thirds, okay? You didn't receive this truth. You didn't even receive it. It was set up for it, for it that way. But, and you other healing nations, who cares, okay? Esau, Edom, you were so righteous, you still can't do what, you still can't do righteous, okay? Job 9, 24, you know? The, earth was, the world was given to you by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay? Verse 11, for this cause, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, shall send them a strong delusion that they shall believe a lie. And that's what's happening right now. You know, that's what's happening. These people still believe in the Catholicism. They're still believing in our people, uh, what the, the, the Israel. They still believe being Kemites, or com, com, they believe in that committed religion. You know, they still believe in the Catholicism, the Northern Kingdom mostly. They still believe in the Jesus, Jesus, that's what they're believing in. Okay. Job 9, 24, I'm going to get it now because I said it. Job 9, 24. You know, reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the justice thereof. Not where and who is he? Yeah, he covered the faces of the justice. How did he do that? He done that through iconoclasm, you know, destroying the, the real images of the Heavenly Father, which was, he was a dark skinned man, okay, and the angels, and the people, okay. They weren't olive, olive skin. There was such thing as olive skin. They definitely weren't white. Ain't no such thing as white. It's not a such thing as black. Those are social constructs. So they can uh, continue there to, to create their superiority over all the races, okay? That's what they've done. There's no one black, there's no one white. They call the Northern Kingdom red men, where actually they are the red men, okay? So let's get it, let's get it, let's get the facts together, okay? You know, because at the end, you know, everybody's going to know who they are. They're not going to be called black, white. They're going to be called by their true nation. You know, their true biblical uh, classification. You saw Edom, okay, Moab, Ammon, okay, Hebrew Israelites, okay, Isaiah 25 and 7. Because at the end, it's, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be real, okay, Isaiah 25 and 7. And it reads, 
and he will destroy this mountain, the face of a covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations, even in other nations. The heathen, they don't know who they are. Some of them do, but they don't, the majority don't know. They call themselves white. They call themselves, they call themselves Chinese, Japanese. They call themselves this, that, and the third. No. But it's not true. We have a biblical classification of a nation, of race, of people. Okay? And he will destroy this mountain. That mountain means government. What government? Esau, Edom. This Job 9, 24. He will destroy this mountain. And this mountain, this government, the face of the covering cast over all people. And the veil that is spread over all nations. Okay? Second Thessalonians. Two. And now, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all powers and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. Okay. Matthew 24. 24. And it reads. Start at the 22nd verse. And except those days should be shown, there should be no flesh, there shall no flesh be saved, but the elect say, but for the elect say those days shall be shortened. And you see the days are shortening up now. You know, I'm looking out in the back. The trees are then changing colors already. You know, it's not even fall yet, but they're changing colors. Because the heavenly father, your house by some your house eyes shortening the time. There you go again. Wars and rumors of wars. You see what's going on. We at the end of the end. And except those days should be shortened. There shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. Okay? And that's what's happening right now. The days are being shortened. Okay? Revelation 16. Okay? Start at the 12th verse. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the waters thereof were dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Prepare for what? For World War III, okay? We done been to one World War, two, the second World War, now we all coming up on World War III, okay? We coming up on that right now, okay? We coming up on it right now. Okay, let's get, let's get, let's get, uh, uh, Revelation 9. Let's go to Revelation 9. And we're going to go to Revelation 9 and... What was it? 14. Yeah. Yep, I think Revelation 9 and... 14. And it reads... It's the 13th verse. And the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice for the four horns of the golden altar, which is before the heavenly father Yahweh, saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, loose the four angels, which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour, and a day, and a month, and a year, for the slay the third part of men. Okay? That's the, and, and, and that's dealing with those nuclear missiles. Basically, it's dealing with the thermonuclear missiles, okay? Verse 16, the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. And I heard the number of them. That's those missiles, okay? Them thermonuclear missiles, okay? And thus, verse 17, and thus I saw horses in a vision. Horses represent power, okay? And them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of Jesse and brimstone. Okay, if you look at the account of Solomon Gomorrah, they were destroyed by fire and brimstone, okay? Because the heavenly father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh used the elements and created the same thing that he used Esau, Edom, to create the waste to destroy the same elements, the same thing, thermonuclear missiles, okay? Don't forget, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay? Is what? 
the power of Sabaoth, okay, of armies. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, 1,000. And I heard the number of them. And thus I saw the horses and the vision. And them that sat on them, having bread, place of fire, that's the metal casing, and the jason, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions, and out of the mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. Now you know, thermonuclear missiles, when they have fire, they have a propulsion system, okay? Fire pushed off from the, from the back end of it, right? They separate the stages, but at the tip, which is the head, you know, to, to uh, John the Revelator, it looked like a lion's head from what he's seen. And when it mouth opened, that signifies that those were those thermonuclear missiles that was inside the cone of the missile that opened up and then those shot out the warheads. Depending on how many warheads inside of the head of the line or head of the mouth, you know, depends on how much destruction is gonna come. You can have 10, 8, or more inside of a warhead, inside of a mouth of a missile, okay? And by these was the third part of men killed, by the fire and by the smoke and by the brimstone, which issued out of their mouths. That's the 18th verse. You no, know, so therefore, this is World War III that's coming, okay? It's right, it's right here, it's coming. Okay, matter of fact, I gotta get that. We gotta get it. Revelation 9 and 12, okay? Revelation 9 and 12, one war is passed, and behold, there comes two more. Two, two, there come two wars more after. Let's, let's let me highlight that so you can get it, so you can see it. Okay. Revelation 9 and 12. One war is passed. You know, we already had the first world war. Okay. And behold, there come two wars after that. You had World War II. You had World War I and World War II. So what's next? World War III. It's not listed in the Bible, but it tells you right here. One war is left. Okay. One war is passed. World War I, and behold, there comes two wars more after that. Wars represent war, okay, world's war, okay. You know, so there you have it, all right? There you have it. Okay. Now, fire is out. The false prophet, which is the Vatican, you know, they're lying about the so the so-called UFO, oh, UFOs and you know UAPs, which are the chariots of the heavenly father Yahweh by Simeon Hamas. So they all they always had known the truth, you know. But see that they, 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 if they if they if the world knew that what's in the sky that they're seeing every day are so-called black men, are that that, that are angels. And they're coming to destroy this place, destroy Esau, Edom, out of his rulership. What can they say? That's why they're out there deceiving the masses with their lies. Okay? They don't want nobody to know. But, but it's too late. Because Yahweh Bahasim, Yahweh's word, don't come back for it. Do his prophets. The other prophets of great millstone teach us on down on the highways and byways doing these epistle videos and they're constantly on every single day every hour every minute of the day okay every minute of the day but the false prophet the Vatican and we're going to get to it. Revelation 16. We're going to get to it. Book of Revelation 16. 13. And the reason I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon. And out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophets. Okay, now I need to go to this. I need to go through this. I pulled it up. Okay. 
as you can see, City of London, Vatican City, on Washington, D.C., okay? Let me slow it down. Those, and these are called, these are called the three city states, okay? They're called the three city states. Let me do a, a little bit of reading, okay? Bear with me. Three city states that control the world, their roles by Ray Clayton. City states that control the world and their roles. The three city states that run the world. Three city states that control the world and their roles. City of London. That deals with the finances, okay? It receives taxes from their subjects. Uh-oh, slaves in Canada and the United States. They decide to control our financial and banking systems, okay? Vatican City, religion. The Pope wants to merge all the religions into one, which is absolute nonsense. The Pope broke off from the truth, confusing, confusingly referred to as the Eastern Church or Eastern Orthodox Church or Orthodox Church or Orthodox about a thousand years ago. Okay, uh, does that sound familiar? Yes, it does. That sound like I, when I when they came up from under, their minds came, came up from, from under the chains that our Lord and Savior house I put them in, and they came up from under that, hence you had iconoclasm, okay? The Pope wants to merge all the religions into one, which is absolute nonsense. The Pope broke off from the truth, confusingly referred to as the Eastern Church, or Eastern Orthodox Church, or Orthodox Church, or Orthodox, about a thousand years ago. Washington, D.C. What that, that, no, it says military, okay? Washington, D.C., military death camps and stacks of black plastic coffins that can hold six to ten bodies each are piled high in a long train-like fashion. As far as the eyes can see in the United States today, these, th these three are sovereign corporate entities that are not part of the countries they are located in, okay? The city in London. The city is also known as the square mile of an area of 677 hectares hectare, hectares, okay, hectares in London. It's just like the Vatican City in Rome, their own state. The city state pays no tax, has its own courts, its own laws, their own flag, their own private police at about 2,000 men and a night population that underestimates 9,000 inhabitants. Here are the Bank of England, a privately owned institution which is not subject to regulatory by the British Parliament. And in fact, it's a sovereign world power. Moreover, Lloyds of London Insurance, London Stock Exchange, Stock Exchange, Fleet Streets, newspapers and publishing. Offices in all British banks. Offices in 385 foreign banks and 70 U.S. banks. Internationally, they use the Crown Prince's as a symbol of power, but the real power belongs to the bankers and not the world house. It is very difficult to gain an insight into the persons who effectively control the Bank of England. A name that leaked is Rothschild. In other words, Red Shield, okay? It's another name. The City of London is an economic entity that is legally separate from England and is controlled by all lawyers and banks across the world, including the Federal Reserve and the USA. The city is also the English seat of the world's Freemasonry with the United Grand Lodge of England as the center. Washington, D.C. of Columbia, the flag of the Washington District of Columbia has three red stars, one for each city, state, and the empire. This empire ruled the world economically through London City, militarily by the District of Columbia, and spiritually by the Vatican. There you have it. The Constitution for the District of Columbia operates under a tyrannical Roman law known as the Lex Fore and has no similarities to as to the U.S. Constitution. The Vatican in Rome, Vatican's assets include massive investments by Rothschild in the U.K., France, and the U.S. billions a share in oil and weapon companies. Weapons companies like Shell and General Electric, Bethlehem Steel, the Vatican is the world's largest owner of private property, and its gold reserves are stored by the Bank of England and the U.S. Reserve Bank, Federal Reserve Bank. The flag in Washington's District of Columbia has three red stars, 
We're symbolizing a city-state within the three-city empire. The three-city empire consists of Washington, D.C., London, and Vatican City. London is the corporate center of the three city-states and controls the world economically. Washington District of Columbia city-state is in charge of the military and the Vatican offices spiritual guidance. Office spiritual guidance. There you have it. Okay? There you have it. All right? Just a little bit of information because that's what you need. Wisdom and knowledge shall be thy stability of thy time. Okay? The fear of the Lord, is, Yahweh, is his treasure. Okay, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, but this covering cast is, is, is coming off. Okay, it's coming off. All right. It's, it's definitely coming off. You know, I said 25 and 7. Okay. Book of Prophet Isaiah 25, chapter. And the seventh verse. We highlight that because this is important. When that time comes, and it's we at, we at that time now, but this covering cast is, is dropping away from the wicked, Job 924, Richly Lee Baker Fathers, the so-called white man, Esau, Edom. And this place is getting ready to get, this, get destroyed after a, a couple of more prophecies. And the main one is making uh, the Karagma mandatory, okay? And he will destroy this one in the face of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Let's look up that word, veil, okay? Let's look that word up. Strong's 8, 4541, Masecha, Masecha. Pouring, libation, molten metal, cast, image, drink offering, okay? Image, libation, with covenant sacrifice, molten metal, molten image, molten gods, web covering, veil, Woolen stuff. Okay? So, all of that, those images of those fake images you put up, you saw Edom, you so called white man, Richard E. Lee, banking families, all of that stuff is coming down. It's falling down right before your eyes. The Holy Father, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, is putting us in order, putting the world in order before your very eyes. Okay? And we're seeing this place crumble. Okay, so shoot your best shot, shoot your best shot. Last verse, Revelation. Twelve and twelve, and that'll be it. Book of Revelation, twelve, chapter twelve, verse. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. Okay? And, and, and the devil who is that? Richard Lee Baker family. He saw even so called white men. Okay? He's getting ready to come down. We're getting ready to experience blackouts. We're getting ready to experience famine of the world. We're getting ready to experience a lot of things. If you keep, you know, watch, watching the news, this is, again, set up by, first and foremost, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, shot. Set up through him. Okay? Because he knows he's getting ready to get destroyed. He saw Edom, so-called white man. He knows he's about to get destroyed. So he's, he, he's in his mind, I'm taking everybody out of here. But as the scriptures say, as the Heavenly Father Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said, He's shortening the time for the his elect's sake. Okay? So we have to stay prayed up, stay, stay strong, honor and glory, stay humble, 
and depend solely on our Heavenly Father and Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Wai Yahweh Shai. Okay? Because he's going to make a way for us. Okay, most definitely. Okay, and with that, the water to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, of God, Badash, that will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who will well and who has 100% too. Then, all uh, praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors. Possibly, it was a great milestone. Shalom.